I would rather hear 100 no's and then get to a potential investor that is really on our side, you know, and really helps us day in and out rather than having, you know, 100 bad investors that potentially don't care about like the product or the team. Welcome to Turn Off at Turn On Ventures. My name is Jia Hong and today I have with me Carolina from We Do Solar in Berlin. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> so Carolina, can you share with me a bit about what you do and what the company does? Yeah, so We Do Solar is a vertical solar solution company. So we basically found ways how to attach solar to your balcony um, as a site protection. So that's what we're focusing on. We want to basically democratize solar and make it available literally for anyone. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you own a household or like maybe you're renting and majority of us is actually renting, especially in the cities. And uh, we want to make sure that you have access to renewable energy, no matter where you are. Great. And we do solar is a really young company. Yes. And where do you see we do solar headed to and what kind of change um, in society do you think um, your company can bring well i mean one of the biggest aims for us is definitely to reduce co2 uh, we d like solar is a huge um, huge tool in a way uh, to reduce uh, huge amounts of co2 so for us uh, since we have sort of like small power plants uh, let's say on balconies uh, we definitely you know see ourselves within the next five years to be uh, the biggest distributed solar power plant out there and uh, just to kind of give you some numbers um, each balcony on a yearly basis can reduce up to 600 kilograms of co2 uh, which is actually quite a lot um, that would be equal to let's say work of 1000 square meters of forest or um, it could mean a 4000 kilometer car ride yeah so it's it's actually quite a lot when you think about it so uh reduction of CO2 is number one. Number two is definitely, you know, uh, to reduce dependency on our grid, uh, especially right now uh, with during, you know, the times um, of kind of like geopolitical situations that we're living in. Um, I, th I think it's very important for us to be independent. And um, literally the impact for us is making sure that we actually get to net zero. Yeah, and we can do everything um, in our power um, to actually get there um, not just government wise but literally individual wise because every single one of us can actually do an impact mm -hmm. um, you mentioned a 4,000 kilometer uh, car right yeah um, that's a that's a long journey and yeah. the entrepreneur's journey can sometimes also feel <laughs> like a 4,000 kilometer car right Totally. Yeah. Um, what are some of the bumps and humps that you've sort of been through since starting the company? Something that you can share with us, perhaps? Um, I mean, definitely no sleep. <laughs> you don't get weekends. And we're filming this on a Saturday right now. Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're like, you know, in full production mode, um, basically putting our first batch of uh, customers together. And uh, because our first batch is like very manual still, like we're putting a lot of uh, you know shipment material um, into the boxes like literally and putting everything you know with our own hands so this is exactly what's happening um, I think you know in terms of challenges um, it is quite um, hard to raise money uh, I think that's definitely one of the biggest hurdles at least for all the entrepreneurs that I know um, you might have this amazing idea but you're constantly trying to prove that you know you are the one you know that can actually bring it places um so not necessarily the idea but you know are you the right team you know so people constantly question you and you definitely hear a lot of no's i mean for me that's motivating but like it might be um a huge kind of factor for others to potentially uh feel a bit down uh so don't feel down there will be investors that are you know definitely you know head over heels about like your technology or whatever you're coming up with and uh, they're going to believe in you and at the end of the day i think um i don't know i would rather hear 100 no's and then get to a potential investor that is really on our side you know and really helps us day in and out 
rather than having you know 100 bad investors that potentially don't care about like the product or the team uh, so wait your time <laughs> i would say and wait for the right investors um, for us it has been i wouldn't say not a challenge but like more of a question of patience and you, you need a lot of patience i can imagine 4,000 kilometer rides are not easy to <laughs> remove no. carbon for. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, on, on that note, I think it's it's an interesting product that people get to bring um, solar generation so close to home. Yeah. Um, there obviously is a big DIY community out there, but this is such an easy product to install. It's safe, it's light. Um, and I personally really enjoy the software aspect of it, right? To yeah. be able to see, oh, today um, I'm, I'm, I'm melting in the heat, but I am generating pretty well outside with my, yeah. with my balcony um, panels from, from you guys. Yeah. What is something that interesting that perhaps you can share uh, in your journey of learning more about solar? Something that people maybe don't yeah, know. Yeah, um, I think to be honest, like, so, I mean, our product is very lightweight, right? Like you, you tried it, it's like 1.3 kilograms each, um, each panel. Uh, it's super flexible as well. So the main aim is to make sure that, yeah, self-installable, uh, that people can use it that are not tech savvy, because at the end of the day, you know, we as founders or tech founders, like kind of live in a bubble where everybody knows tech, but actually majority uh, of our population doesn't and uh, they need very easy to use products. So that was like the, the main aim. Um, I think one of the things that we even tell to investors and that they even don't know is that you can feed energy through like a normal power plug. Uh, so our system actually plugs into like a normal power socket and we feed energy in. So we don't actually take anything out. And I think that's what uh, most people don't know. Uh, that you can feed energy uh, through a power plug. And that was very educational for me uh, yeah. as well today. So thank you for, for sharing that with me. And I guess to end off, um, the entrepreneur's journey is not easy and yeah. not a lot of sleep, <laughs> not yeah. a lot of breaks. Um, is there any advice you can give to people who are also like you um, in this journey? Patience comes up again. <laughs> Because um, I think like to not give up, um, that's a really huge one. Um, to be patient and to um, really believe in what you do and be very confident. Uh, it's kind of a silly thing to say, but people around you um, totally feel your energy. Uh, they know how you potentially handle yourself. And if you're a super fucking confident <laughs> I hope that's allowed but if you're super confident um, people will want to be around you and that goes for investors that goes for partners that goes for literally you know anyone within your network or outside of your network and these um, kind of tools will bring you places 100% like there is no doubt about it people that are confident they, they achieve things and bonus question, what can founders do when they're not that confident on a day? Ooh. <laughs> pretend. <laughs> um, actually pretend. Um, because we all have uh, bad days. I also have bad days when you don't want to do anything. You don't want to potentially work or speak to anyone because maybe you have been speaking to people for the past, I don't know, two weeks straight. Um, but if you, if you know that you have to do it and it's going to get you places, you pretend. That's great and honest advice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>